Psalms 145.10 All thy work shall praise thee, O Lord, and thy saints shall bless thee. This entire universe is God's creation. Therefore, all who see this see the handiwork of God, thus glorifying God by knowing how great God is. In other words, every creation in the universe depicts the glory of God. It is not possible for anyone to create from nothing as God created. That in itself illustrates the unique glory of God. The heavens describe the glory of God. That is what the Psalms say. The firmament declares his handiwork. Everything in nature naturally praises God. But man, created in God's likeness, should praise God in his own decision. It should not be done by someone else's compulsion. It can be inspirational and enlightening, but when forced, it becomes like slave labor. Man is superior to God's creation on earth. He is clothed with wisdom and knowledge like no other, and every human being has an immortal soul. These characteristics help man to choose between right and wrong, to do or not to do what God wants. The devotees of God cannot help but praise him because God not only created him, he also forgave his sin and restored his relationship with God. That is the main thing that differentiates a godly man from the common man. For a wronged man, what is more important than anything else is that God has forgiven him. So he will praise God no matter what happens in his life. The fact that there are many other reasons for practicing God is also the basis for praising God. May the devotees praise God. May God bless us.